Yo, what's up ladies and gentlemen, JJ Prime here, back with another video. And today we'll be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class Dropkick. So, here I am, and there he is, and apparently I forgot what number he is in, but later I will check and um, I'll, I'll figure out, I'll figure, I'll figure out on what number he was in. But I know he was in Wave 7, so um... I think maybe he was in the 40s or the 50s, I don't know, but anyway. So here is Dropkick in his lovely, beautiful vehicle mode. Uh, what type of car this is, uh, I can't remember. I cannot remember. Uh, it's kind of like a Plymouth GTX, I don't think so, I don't know, but hey, it's a nice vehicle mode. Um, yeah, he's just, just, uh, just black and blue and all around, very, very cool. Very, very accurate to what we saw in the film. You can see, got some nice silver paint on the front there for the grill, for the headlights. Got nice silver paint right here on this uh, engine block. Got the number 13, you got the, uh, the skull symbol. Truth be told, that should be a Decepticon symbol, not, not the skull symbol. It should be the Decepticon symbol, but eh, it's alright. You can come under here, you can see. Those basically are his arms, they're in his feet, you get, <laughs> that's his top of his head, so he technically has a visible head syndrome, there we go, yeah, yeah, pretty much, but all around, it's a nice looking vehicle mode, in my opinion, there is some like red and silver paint right here for the head, for the, for the head, for the tail lights, yeah, they're called tail lights, these are the headlights, these are the tail lights, so, <laughs> okay, I know, I know, but anyway, yeah, but overall, it's nicely painted, nicely done. I love the uh, translucent windshields all around the car, so that's pretty cool. He does have some rolling wheels, so he can actually roll. That rolling thing should. Yay! So, now let's just bring in some comparisons. I'm not going to compare him with all the Bumblebee movie figures. I'm just going to compare him with the uh, some, some of them. So, for comparison, here he is with the Volkswagen Bumblebee. So you can see how they look together there you go here he is with his victim cliff jumper so you can see how they look together there you go here he is with his helicopter self that's right dropkick is a triple changer so he had two alt modes so it's only right to get these two so yeah because he had two alt modes you need both modes so yeah there you go here he is with his partner, Shatter, and don't they look nice together? That that's a cool looking pair right there. That's they look good together. I love that. I really like that. So it's pretty cool. There you go. And just one more, just because here he is with Prime. You can see how they look together. So there you go. Now he does include. This accessory, this is the, uh, these, the, <laughs> this is the gun that he used to, uh, to kill the humans, so, just to squirt them, <laughs> yeah, to explode them, explode their bodies and just squirt with blood, I, yeah, now, it's a nicely done design, I wish there was, I wish there was more paint on this weapon, but hey, it's okay, it's alright, so, now we can take, this thing can this thing can store in the vehicle mode. You can see this little groove that's cut right there. This little notch that goes on this uh, spoiler. So this will just slide in right there like so. And there you have storage for the weapon in the vehicle mode. And um, yeah, that totally looks ridiculous to my eyes anyway. But it's okay. It's all right. Not the end of the world. But hey, it is what it is. So. It's pretty much it for the vehicle mode, does not have articulation whatsoever. So we can get down to the transformation into his robot mode. So now, first thing you want to do, of course, you want to take the uh, the weapon and put it off to the side. And we can start by opening his doors. So we can open his doors. You're supposed to do that for the transformation, just untap the doors. Untap the doors. There you go. And now you want to take... His arms right here, just raise these sections up, raise these sections up, like so. 
So just you just want to get them out of the way first. And now you can actually take this section right here, just rotate it back, rotate it back, tap that in, flip out his fist like so, and same thing on the other side, just bring this back like so, tap that in, and flip out his fist. So we got so we got his arms all done. So now what you want to do is you want to take this section right here, just untap that, untap all that, and this will just come down on you like that. So now you want to push this section down, just flip these back, just bring these up like so, bring down his arms, bring down the arms, and there you have that all done. So now you want to take this crotch piece right here, just bring that up on the hinge, and that will just clip in into place, like so, just clip that in, if my camera will folk, if my camera will see, can you see it, can you see the transformation, just clip that in, and there you go, and now you can just take this section right here, and this will just tab in, like so, there you go, so now you want to take this section, and just bring this down, you want to flip that in, flip that in, and there you go, so now, just bring this section down all the way, and now you can take his head and just spin this around, spin this section around, so that will reveal his head. So now just bring it down and that will just slide in, like so. And the wheels will just fit in right there to those, to those, uh, to this section right here that, you know, the wheels can fit in, like so. And there you have his upper body all done, so now I just bring down his backpack and just you know, just flush it against the back. Uh, there's no locking point for this, it just rests there, but hey, it is what it is. Um, you can take his foot, just bring that down, like so, and now you want to take this black piece right here, this black panel, and you want to pull this out. It's kind of it's kind of tight, you know, it's going to tight on my neck. You have to pull it out. Very, very tight. Ooh, very, very tight. You have to pull this out, and after you pull it out of the way, after you pull it out all the way, you have to rotate this section around and just push this back in and just tab that in like so. Because these, the, this little tab, you can see right there, this little tab will tab into a slot right there. I'm not sure you can see it in my camera with focus. There is a little slot right there, so that's just, that just right there. So that will just tab in. Like so, if it can tab in, if it can tab in, there we go. So that tabs in really nice and secure like. Same thing on the other side, just bring down his foot. Focus camera. <laughs> just Now this side is really easy to pull it out. So now just slide this back in, slide this back in, and just, just wrap around his leg, and that will tab in like so. So I think... We are pretty much done with the transformation for Dropkick, so there you have the Karmo Dropkick in his robot mood. And um, yeah, this figure looks amazing. It looks so much better than the, uh, it looks way, way better than the, uh, you know, the helicopter robot, <laughs> the helicopter version. It looks way more screen accurate, and I love this version of Dropkick. It's really, really cool. I quite dig it. So now we can take a closer look at his beautiful, beautiful head sculpt. And that is a more screen accurate Dropkick head sculpt, and I love that. I love the paintwork on his face. Looks pretty cool. The red eyes, really, really nice. His arms are really screen accurate. I love this. I mean, this... Truth be told, this was the form that we actually saw in the first place when he, you know, after he scanned the car. This was the robot that we saw in the beginning of his, uh, you know, his travel to Earth, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, almost at the beginning of the movie, we saw this first before we saw Dropkick scan the helicopter and, you know, have some helicopter bits on his robot mode. But overall, this figure looks so good. And the backpack? I mean, he has a little bit of a backpack, but it's still a clean transformation. He has the door wings as well, which is pretty accurate to what we saw in the film. 
the legs the proportions of the legs are really really accurate and I love that very very much it's really detailed all around love the paintwork and these are basically the tail lights they just you know just painted it red and silver looks pretty cool so now articulation wise the head is on a ball joint uh, it can't rotate a full wait it can rotate a full 360 why did I say it can't wait it can yes it can so you can actually you know you can look up a little bit you can look down a little bit uh, the arms the shoulders are on a tight ball joint remember remember when I reviewed Karma Shatter the shoulders are really freaking loose and it's easy to pop them out and this one this drop kick the ball joints are so tight so I think like you know after the Karma Shadow was produced they decided you know what we're gonna stop making shoulders too loose we're gonna tighten the ball joints and you know and they actually did they actually really did <laughs> they did so now the arms can move out a little bit like so he does have a bicep swivel he does have an elbow joint about 90 degrees of bent now there are, there is no wrist swivel but the hands can actually the fist can move inward due to transformation and they are useful in a way for the weapon but I will get into that in a little bit uh, there's, there's no waist swivel unfortunately there isn't there is a uh, leg movement so the legs can move up that far can move back that far he does have a little bit of a swivel at the hip and now there is a knee joint which is about under 90 degrees of bend at the knee and the feet can actually move up and down uh, there's no ankle tiltage because the feet are actually molded in just like like you know he's supposed to stand in the natural a stance so you go if, if I can stand him straight enough so I can get him ready to be armed up with his weapon so the way to arm up with his weapon arm him up with his weapon is that there is there is a long slot I'm not sure you can see it I'm trying to focus here my camera, there we go there is a long slot in the middle of the gun right here and you have to do yeah you have to do you have to do what you have to do is you have to bring his hand back just flip that in and there is a tab right there so that's meant to tab into that slot and just you know just tab it on his arm and it looks like that his hand has finally transformed into his squirt gun <laughs> so yeah in his um killing human gun there we go so <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty cool. I quite dig that. That's a screen accurate looking gun. I love that. So that's pretty cool. So now let's get down to the comparisons. Here he is with Volkswagen Bumblebee. So you can see how they look together. There you go. Uh, here he is with his victim, the one he killed, Cliff Jumper. Oh, so sad. So sad that Cliff Jumper got killed off. Seriously, Hasbro, you better start. You better stop killing this guy off. Please, please, please. Do not kill Cliff Jumper anymore because he's a cool character. Stop. Just stop. My God. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, here he is with the, uh, the car mode shatter. Um, uh, they, I mean, they do look good together, but I think I know which shatter he looks better with uh the the jet mode shatter and as you can see they look so much better together you know i mean i mean sure i don't have a problem with this figure but but you know looking at it now i just mm, mm, yeah this this one is way better <laughs> so yeah the the better drop kick and the better shatter they look good together. Oh my goodness. They look really, really good together. But anyway, so there you go. And here he is with himself. <laughs> here he is with his helicopter self. And uh, yeah, I would have to say this one is my favorite movie dropkick figure. I mean, this, this one, I didn't really have a problem with this guy. I mean, he's still fun to mess with, but... The robot mode just eh, leaves something to be desired, but this guy, this figure, looks way, way cooler in my opinion, so there you go. And of course, last but not least, we have to end off with 
Optimus Prime and you can't really see his face and there you go there you have Dropkick and Optimus so you can see how they look together so there you go so there you have Studio Series Dropkick and uh, I just found out that he's number 46 <laughs> He's number 46 and his car mode is a javelin, just, just to let you know, that's right. But anyway, so let's recap on what happened during this review and uh, yeah, I love this figure. Um, this figure looks way way better than the uh, helicopter dropkick. Uh, truth be told, I never had a big problem with the helicopter dropkick. His helicopter mode looks good. The robot mode, uh, it's just okay. It's just okay. I'm not crazy about his robot mode. But this guy, I, I really love his robot mode. It's so much more screen accurate than the helicopter version. It's, uh, it's very fun to mess with. It's, it's nicely painted. I, I love his design overall. Yeah, the, the proportions on this guy is way more accurate than the proportions on the uh, helicopter version. It's just... No, <laughs> so yeah, really, really cool, and I do love his uh, his weapon, this 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 weapon, yeah, the one that he used to squirt some humans, <laughs> so that's pretty cool, and the car mode is gorgeous. I love the car mode. It's 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 a javelin. Now I know. Now I know. Not a Plymouth GTX. Shatter is a Plymouth GTX, but this guy is a javelin. Now I know. Now I know. So. Yeah, really, really cool figure. And um, if I were to rank him from a scale of 1 to 10, I gotta go for it again. I have to say, it's a 10 out of 10. He's very, very screen accurate. And I love the figure. I love it overall. And uh, yeah, really, really cool figure. Um, yeah, 10 out of 10, not too bad. It's a really cool figure. Well done, Hasbro. You get two thumbs up for me. Yes, you get two thumbs up for me. There we go. Well done, Hasbro. For producing this second dropkick figure. May and who knows? Maybe we'll get a Cybertronian dropkick? Hmm? Who knows? Maybe. Maybe. But hey. It is what it is. But So. I think that is pretty much it. For today's video. So. Ladies and gentlemen. Do, do, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. G gentle? <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss any future reviews of new upcoming figures and old figures. And you better hit that notification bell down below so that you can get notified on when a new video is up and ready. So, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there you have the Transformers Studio Series number 46, Deluxe Class Dropkick. And this is JJ Prime signing off. Peace out.